UFL is the new football game in the market and the open beta for it just started today but the question that comes to mind when everybody sees these kind of football games is is it the new FIFA killer now to answer that question briefly I'm gonna go ahead and say yes and no but I'm gonna explain to you guys the reasoning behind that but in order for you guys to understand that you need to understand the game overall so Starting off with the game, I mean, listen, it has its issues because it is the open beta, but I do have a very big problem with it, and it's the fact that literally everything in this game is slippery when it comes to the gameplay. Like, I don't know if it was just that they decided to have every single player on the field just throw on some slippery substance and they cannot control or touch the ball for their lives now it could also be a skill issue i won't count that out and if you guys have been watching my channel listen i may not be the best player out there but i will openly admit that if i am bad i'm bad but i just don't think that even if it's a new game you know a lot of the controls in this game are very similar which i'm about to show you guys and i just feel like i should not be losing these type of games or messing up as bad as i have been like you would think that i just started playing fifa overall yesterday so going into the controls real quick i mean if you guys just take a look everything is literally the same as fifa your circle button is your attack your x is your pass your uh, square is your cross you know everything is the same which is good because they pretty much made it to where the learning curve of the game is not so much of a big gap you know everything you already pretty much know the only thing that you kind of really do got to learn if you're someone who uses a lot of skills is all these feints and stuff so yeah I'm also myself I mean I've never really been a player who uses skills in general but one thing I will say is I feel like in this specific game skills really do matter but you can also get away with just passing but we'll get into that a little bit later when we're actually playing the game but yeah this as you guys can see is the command list for all the skills that you can do and there's certain things that you can only do with like specific skills on the cards which i'll explain to that i'll explain that to you guys just now so let's start off with the most important thing in this game which is your currency you have your cp your lp and your rp so your CP is pretty much your main currency, like your coins, and that's what will get you the players from the markets and the skins. Your LP is kind of like your FIFA points or your FC points, you know, you buy them in order to have that and you can get uh, bigger rewards and stuff with those. And then you have your RP, which is pretty much your ranked points, and you get that every single time that you play a ranked match. So you can also get all of these things from doing these challenges here. As you guys can see, um, I did a whole bunch of them. You know, you do this and you get 100,000 or 100 million in uh, credit points. That's what they call them. And then you do the other challenges. It's the same thing. You get 20 million. So yeah. You're gonna get a whole bunch of CP, but that's okay. You really do want to focus on saving your RP though, because the thing is that once you go into these markets, right, you see all these players, they have literally everybody, right? You can go ahead and get messy if you want. I, when you first open the game, they ask you if you want uh, two other players and Ronaldo's in there. I mean, everyone's obviously gonna pick Ronaldo for the most part, just like I did. But yeah, you can get these players the only issue is that you need those RPs, as you guys can see. You know, the higher overall that they are, the more RP that it's going to require. So this is where I say that, yes, this game can kill FIFA because the whole concept of this game mode in general, it's kind of like Ultimate Team, except without the pay to win aspect. I mean, that's literally what their Logan of the, the game is, you know, uh, free to play free to earn and free whatever right they're all about free and i'm hoping that when the game fully releases um it stays like that but you guys got to remember this is a company at the end of the day and the game is releasing free to play so they somehow have to incorporate some type of income that they'll get with uh rewards or packs that you can buy and etc so whatever that may be in the future um, it doesn't seem like it's going to be specifically for the uh, cards in the market. It may so more be like for the LPs and the LPs gives you a higher chance of like opening the skin packs which we're about to get into right now. But yeah, I hope I'm not confusing anybody because I do understand that it is a lot to get through but it's not really so much once you understand the basics. and. 
you just got to think of it like from a FIFA Ultimate Team perspective. So going back into the market, like I said, every character is or I said character. Every player is already available. You just need to have the specific currency in order to get them. So um, another thing that I've noticed is that once you reach the lower overalls and I think it's like under 80, let's go ahead and check. Once you hit under 80, it does not require any RP. So if I wanted to, I can go ahead and rebuild my whole team. I mean, look, you got Acuna here, you got Ansu Fati, uh, Bellatoi. You know, there's a whole bunch of players here that you can get just from using your CP. And that's a great way to overall build your whole squad so that you have some decent players because obviously the ones that you get are not going to be the best. And yeah, you can go ahead and look through this whole market. You can also loan some players as you guys can see though you'll have nine matches and you use them. Um, nobody who I really want to use right now here so we'll go ahead and skip that. And then they added like a whole bookmark slot, you know, in case you want to save a player for later, you just go ahead and bookmark them. So that's how the market works. Now what's really like the main uh thing about this game you know like how fifa ultimate team has where you open packs well you kind of have the same thing except it's called skins here so when you're opening these packs it's not like you're going to get a specific player from it what you're gonna get is these player skins and they have different rarities as you guys can see lowest being uncommon highest being legendary and what those do is that they give you specific like boost to like rp or stamina or etc like it'll literally say it once you open it so we'll go ahead and just do a trial one right now you know i open a pack here real quick this is the most friendly one by the way this is the most common one that you guys are going to be using so boom we got these things but uh i want to try and get an epic one so you guys can see what happens when we get a player all right so you know what instead i'm gonna go ahead and just open this uh season super skin because we have the lp so why not let's see what we get from this hopefully we get something good just for the sake of the video uh oh that's a lot okay so here you go Every time you see this thing that says open skin, that means you're getting a skin for a specific player. So we're going to go ahead and open them real quick. We got a legendary, two legendaries. So look, we got a one for Onana and one for Griezmann. Onana, <laughs> everybody's favorite goalkeeper. So damn, my team's actually turning out to be Manchester United. You guys will see that just now. But anyways. Um, so we got these skins for these players, but that does not mean that I got those players What that means is that when I do go buy these players from the market I can go ahead and equip those skins on these players and then they'll give me even better like like I said XP for RP or stamina, etc. So for example Rashford here, right? I ended up getting his skin that he has equipped right now and in order for me to equip the skin, I went ahead and bought him from the transfer market, right? But if we take a look at uh, what his skin says, it says it right here. It says adds player bonuses during ranked matches. Uh, I get plus 35% in XP experience points, plus 20% in energy reducing the loss, and uh, plus 20% in RP points, reputation. So every time that I play any ranked game i'm going to get those bonuses because of rashford and that's pretty much what these skins do every single specific uh player that you have on your team has a specific skin if you equip it so here for example ronaldo i got one that was just basic and um every time that i play a ranked match i get plus 10 percent experience so as you guys can see the more players that you get those uh skins for especially when it's epic or legendary the higher and easier it's going to be for you to accumulate the RP points and the CP points and etc. Right? It's just going to make your life easier when you're playing these ranked matches. Now you see this specific player right here doesn't have anything equipped. That's exactly how your team's going to look. They're just going to have all these gray dull cards and they're not going to have like any background or anything, any star. And you can just use like basic ones. So like you see how I was opening the packs before and I got like all these basic ones like I can just pick any of these I want. So if I want more experience points, I'm going to go ahead and put this. Just because it says 1 to 99 does not mean that he's going to be a 99 overall. Now, the overall in this game for the players does not change. That just means that from 
overall 1 to 99 that card can be equipped for that player so if let's just say for this one for example 1 to 70 let's say if i try to equip this on an 80 overall player it's not going to let me because oh you know what we can try it with him right here he's a 78 overall right and see it doesn't show up because of the fact that it was only for players through 1 to 70 so that's exactly what these 1 to 99 means and 1 to 70s and etc so don't get that confused thinking that oh you're gonna boost your player the way to actually boost your player in this is by these things called skills so every time that you play with these players you pretty much rank up the XP points and every time that you uh, complete a level whatever you unlock a skill point so these skill points all have different traits think of these like uh, your play styles in FIFA um, each of them have something different that's unique to the player or whatever so if I wanted to do skill moves with him right first of all he has to be he has to meet these requirements right so like for example if i wanted to equip let's play two i can't because he's not he doesn't have an 80 overall of dribbling and he's not a 75 overall player rated at least right so that's what these uh traits do like let's play one let's play two let's play three that's all for skill moves but then you have other things too like uh plus five finishing plus five dribbling and etc like these are your like common basic ones then you have the curler ones if you guys want to like bend it like beckham right you can do this so there's a whole bunch of different skills that you can do and you can put up to five for each specific player so um for this one what is he a right wing i guess i'm gonna make him uh let's see let's let's put him a better attacking player right so we just go ahead and hold it and boom now he has three stars so the one that i have the max out of all of them is the goalkeeper and um yeah like this is pretty freaking broken but at the same time like he's only a 51 rated goalkeeper so like if you read these like for example adds plus 10 to goalkeepers diving and handling during shots outside from the from outside the box adds plus five to goalkeepers positioning add plus five to goalkeeper reaction adds plus five to handling adds plus 10 to a goalkeeper's reaction during shots from outside the area so if you just look at the details like overall that does sound like it's broken and it's doing a lot but really that didn't really do much to him as a player so uh where'd the goalkeeper go yeah i mean look plus five he went from a 50 to a 55 in handling uh 56 into positioning from 51 and 53 in reflexes from 48 so it's really not as broken and obviously the higher that they are rated the harder that it is to get those uh star points so like i've been playing with ronaldo as my striker ever since literally the the game like i said you pick him in the beginning ever since i started playing the game i had him in the lineup and we still did not get one level on him like we're just about to get him it took eighty five thousand. well it takes eighty five thousand xp just to get the first level for him and obviously he has a lot more options in his arsenal because he's a higher rated player but yeah so when you get these players if you want them to be really broken or like maxed out you have to put a lot of time with each specific player in order to grow them just because you have an 88 overall uh rashford in the team does not really mean anything because the stars actually make a difference to like the overall player that you're using so i know that's a lot to take in <laughs> i feel like i just yapped a lot for like the last five minutes but yeah that's pretty much how this whole concept works uh and the reason why i think this can actually be better than fifa ultimate team is because it's all free you know like i said i don't know what they're going to incorporate with the pay to win aspect or sorry the uh paying aspect of this game in general i don't know what exactly you're gonna have to pay for that's gonna i don't know make you want to pay for it right but as of right now pretty much in order to be good at this game it's just two things one understand the game and two grind the crap out of it to build your squad to like this crazy ultimate team or sorry crazy squad builder squad manager i don't even know what they call this in the game and every ranked game is going to be like literally so easy for you
but I will say though that in the beginning and this is also also partially my fault it's very hard to like play with these players I don't know if it's because they're low overalls that they just don't hold the ball and they just lose it every time everything's just so slippery or it's just because of the beta right like uh, things need to be polished and stuff so going through all of this real quick i mean obviously there's other things that you can do um you know you can set up your game plan change your tactics change your formation assign specific roles to everybody you can make and uh captain corner da -da 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 -da. um duties of each player you know everything here is pretty much like if you really want to go deep into like how you manage this uh squad that you're using you can do it in the game plan i don't really care so much for that uh, and then there you have your quick options here you know you can go to the transfer market you can go ahead and jump into a game right through there uh the customization it's all about the kits and stuff so if you want to change how everybody's uniforms are looking and etc you would do that here you can change the stadiums here as well so yeah all of this amazing right like it just pretty much it's like i don't know if there's going to be any other game modes in this but it pretty much took ultimate team from fifa and made it extremely balanced and actually something worth playing like yeah everything's the the overalls i think i've mentioned this before the overalls for the ratings of the players that you see in the transfer market will never change now I don't know if somehow they'll like add oh uh this player was doing good this season so they're gonna put a new card for him and etc right maybe they'll do that in the future but it doesn't change right so right as of right now like i said everything is pretty much really balanced for this game which i like and i think that pretty much covers everything about this game i mean from now it's just gameplay wise which i'll show you guys in a couple of games that i play but yeah everything is here you do your challenges to get your currency uh there's a team pass this is pretty much like a battle pass if you guys want to do this um you go ahead and buy it with the uh sp points that you have and then you'll unlock all these things but um i think you have to buy it too which is very confusing I, that's why i haven't messed with this yet but i think you have to actually buy each thing too so it's not like you unlock it as you go through the pages um you actually select which ones you want so uh you know what let me see eight one thousand for elite pass 400 for the team pass i'm just gonna go ahead and try for the sake of the video to see what it is so we pick this oh i unlocked the ones that were locked but see now i have to wait i got 900 sp I thought I just had 800. I'm so confused. Okay, now I have to individually unlock the ones that I want. And I'm going to actually do the skin packs because these seem the most uh, logical ones to get. Let's see, which one's the biggest one? Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and get this deluxe one right here. Let's see what we get with this. We open it here. Let's see what we get from this season deluxe pack. Hopefully we get something good. Okay, we got one skin. Oh, a legendary. Who's that? I don't even know who that is, guys. So yeah, if you guys want to see the skins that you have, you go into the library here. As you guys can see, like, I got some really good cards. You know, I got one for Ter Stegen. I got one for Bernardo Silva. One for Balde. Griezmann, Onana. And I really don't know who this guy is. But I do have 12,800 LP points. So I'm just going to go ahead and use it. Because, listen, everything in this beta you're not going to keep so you might as well experience the game to the fullest extent that you can don't try to hoard anything it's not going to progress to the next uh full release or whatever they have next for this game so let's go into the skins and we're just going to open a season super skin again let's see how much like cool legendary stuff we can get from this oh my gosh look at all those skins we got let's see Legendary, epic, epic, legendary. Woo! We got Rudiger, we got Ramos, Walker. Cos they did pretty much gave me like the whole, <laughs> almost the whole Real Madrid squad there. Let's see, and you guys saw my squad. I have <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo and Rashford. And then I got, um, I forgot who from Manchester United. They were really like giving me a whole bunch of Manchester United players. But now we got Phil Foden, Rodrigo, Spinelos, Spinelos, 
and then Ramos. Okay, I wonder what happens when you have two of the same cards. Does it like duplicate? Do you get currency for that? Because there's no, you can only have one Ramos. Does it like upgrade to the next uh, rate or like, I forgot what they call it, class? We'll do a few more here just for the sake of opening packs. Ooh, I was about to say, we got a whole bunch of broken ones again. Legendary, epic, epic. Oh, we got another Ronaldo one. I gotta want to see what that one is. Actually, no, I don't even have a Ronaldo one. We're gonna go ahead and equip that. We got Isco and Cortui. So, yo, Cortua, right? That's how you say his name. They've really given me the whole Real Madrid squad now. I went from Manchester United to Real Madrid. They knew that they won the Champions League, so they was just like, yeah, let's give him a broken thing, and I didn't even see who we got there. Um, oh, this Ronaldo one is crazy. I think we just got this. Damn it, bro. I wanted to see what that is. Oh, this looks so crazy. We're going to equip that. Um, who else am I missing from here? Cancelo, our first Barcelona player. We love Barcelona here. And yeah, okay. So we got a pretty interesting skins that we got here. Now, um, this is pretty much the only day I can play the beta, so that's why I'm trying to get in as much as I can. But uh, let's go ahead and see if uh, which skin we want. We want to put this one. This one looks so cool. I, it has like his a cool signature and everything. It gives us reputation, reducing the energy, and plus 100 experience. Okay. Interesting. All right, so I went ahead and upgraded them as much as I can for now. Um, this is the squad that we're gonna be using. Hopefully within like the next few matches, we can go ahead and get some more players. But let's go ahead and hop into our first ranked match. By the way, one thing I forgot to mention is there's this thing called divisions. You pretty much go to the next division every time that you win. So as you guys can see, I'm in bronze one division and that's my record up top. I won four times, drawed five, lost seven. So. Yeah, these were like just so painful losses. It was just like a whole bunch of cheese. I was winning in the beginning and then I don't know what happened. And pretty much what uh, it says here, if I lose one more match, I'm going to be regulated to the lower division. So we don't want that to happen. That's why we got to win this next one. So hopefully we get someone that's like new to the game or something and we don't get cooked. So here's the part where I say I don't think it's better than FIFA because the gameplay, like this is a beta. That's something that we do have to keep in mind. But the gameplay, just because I'm so used to FIFA and FIFA's the only thing that I played, I'm just not accustomed to it. And I'm trying my best to like give it the benefit of the doubt, but it just really pisses me off sometimes. It's not like the game looks bad. You know, the game looks pretty good, especially if it's beta. I mean, they never never make it the finished quality when it comes to these things, but you will feel difference when you're playing the game. Like, for example, using the sprint button literally kills you like it's so bad in this compared to like what it is in fifa you kind of want to keep your finger off of that but oh my gosh see like he just killed we just killed the player doing that but let's see if we can get our goal Woo! beautiful perfect perfect early goal we like that nice little animation there i mean the game, the, the character, I'm, I keep calling them characters. The player graphics look so good. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. And I'm not sure if they actually like face scanned them or made it from scratch, but it looks so good for what they did. So I'm definitely not upset about that. Uh, this guy wants to pause the game so bad. Please don't tell me that you're gonna rage quit already. Probably saw my squad and was like, yeah, uh, I'd rather just take the 6L right now. Let me see. Oh my gosh, I hate those turns, man. Hate those when they turn on me like that. Whoa! What is he doing? Why did he lift his leg up that high? That could have been really bad. So yeah, another thing too. Ref lets a lot of things slide in this game. I will admit that. There's a lot of things I got away with. Woo! That was a nasty, nasty shot. I don't know how we didn't score that uh, rebound, but that's okay. This guy's never going to get his paws. Oh, a little bit lower that would have went in. Oh, yeah, there you go. Rage quit. <laughs> okay, I'll take the win. You helped me not get regulated, buddy. I'll take that. His squad looks uh, pretty beefed up just like mine, so this should be an interesting matchup. I don't know if I'm going to make this into specific parts for that case, or I might just leave it like that. Oh, he got a different ball going on here. This guy has been reaping the benefits. 
So I will say so far, the uh, gameplay feels a lot better than what I was going through earlier just because I have these players a little bit more beefed up now. So let's see if we can get some stuff going for this game. Not get cheesed. I'm gonna call it the Striker Cheese because that's the people who made this game. The Striker Inks or something like that. Woo! Yeah, the interceptions on this game, really broken. Um, the reason why is because I specifically put on my player cards that I want plus five interceptions. So I guess it helped them out a little bit more. I can only imagine that on like an actual good like center back or left back. Hey, what a shot. Get that out of here. Let me see. Get some nice counter attack. See, like that, I don't understand how that happened. That should have connected to the player right next to me. Why it went to the open, I have no idea. And that was a pass by Ronaldo. So there's like no reason why that should be happening. Oh, you're offside, brother. God. Ugh. It would have been nice if I wasn't playing offline earlier. So you guys could just see all the bullshit that I was going through earlier. Like, you wouldn't even believe it. You'd probably think it's a bad game because of that. But you just got to give it a chance, guys. Just give the game a chance. Remember, it's in open beta. Um, in no way, shape, or form am I sponsored by this, obviously. Like, I'm just being truthful with you guys. You would really be missing out if you don't give it at least a chance. But I gotta lock it in. I mean, that is what my team is called. We I named my club Locked In. So, that's not what's happening right now. I'm, like, all over the place. I feel like I could have made some goals right now. Let me see. Uh, we'll get this back. Oh! I got confused. There you go. Oh, wait. How? Whoa! None of that. None of that. There you go. Good ball control. Make a run. Nice. Okay. That was my bad. See, I shouldn't have sprinted there because that literally killed the whole play for me. Just because he got the ball. Oh. Oops. Did not mean to do that. Yeah, I feel like uh, the inputs are a little bit delayed in this. Don't know if it's just because of the servers or maybe just my timing in general. But you'll often see that like, oh, you press the input and it'll do it like five seconds later. And oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm really all over the place. Let me let me lock in real quick, guys. I know I said it before, but I'm going to lock in now. Maybe we could get a penalty or free kick in here. I did have that earlier as well. And the system for it doesn't really seem like too off. Um, I scored both of them. I could have been unluck, obviously, because the players who I was facing didn't really know what they were doing, just like me. But it's pretty much the same. It's not like anything too crazy that's different off that. And there you go, sprint killed me again. Pass it back. Wide. Make a nice run for me. Okay, just pass it wide at this point. There you go, shoot. Just shoot it, I don't care. <laughs> you really gotta play like basic football with this. Like you really gotta do the simplest of things. That's why I said like skill moves in this, not really a big thing. If you know how to do it, big plus, but you get away with the passes if you can actually get everybody in their correct places you know you get you get very far with it is what i'm trying to say look, look, look. oh my gosh like what is that and then of course that goes in because ronaldo shot it right ronaldo shots it shoots it so it has to go in because he made the game well he didn't make the game but he invested 40 million euros which is a lot like, I did not want to pass it to oh, that guy over there. I wanted to pass it down. Let's see. Like, what? Why would you let that go through, man? Let me try to do some of the cheese. Oh, I can't. Because their defense is like 5 million. Run, run. Run, man. Run in the open space. Shoot it now. Yes. There you go. I like that little post hit. It's very low. Like, it, you can't really hear it unless you focus on it, but it's there. Every time you hit the crossbar or the post. Oh, wait, the game's already about to end? Oh, dude. I was too busy chatting. I didn't even see that we were down 2-1, and it's already the 90th minute. All right, so I actually didn't even see the squad that this guy had, but let me see. Do a little bit of some tiki-taka. Again, not who I wanted to pass it to. 
Like, do I just have to be a little bit more patient with the ball? Is that what it is? Like, I took the ball away from him, but somehow he could still get it. That's what I mean by slippery. Like, they just don't hold the ball for as long as they should be, and it pisses me off. Maybe this cheese can work out for me right now. Nope. Oh, there you go. Our first foul. Woo! Okay, let's see. Here's the free kick, guys. Let's see if we can score it just like last time. We'll try to aim it right up here. Oh, God. I think I did too much. Ah, yeah. I did, I did a little too much. All right, come on. Ronaldo, you got to score. Don't let him catch up to you. Oh, that's a penalty. That's a penalty. Oh, we're going to get both in one game? I was literally talking about it earlier. All right, let's see. I'm going to go top right. We're going to go top right. Let's see. What is distract? What does that mean? All right, whatever. We got it. Top bins only, baby. Can we get a sweep? Let me see. Let me see. Oh, no. He's not doing it. He's not doing the sweep. Oh. Did we just get... Okay, I think this guy just rage quit. So we just got another win off rage quit. So yeah, with that, um, I think I'm going to end this video because if I play this any longer, I think I might just lose it all. But um, if I do have the chance to, let me know down in the comments what do you guys want to see. Do you guys want to see a Manchester United squad or do you guys want to see a Real Madrid squad? I'll do the best that I can in order to get make that happen, but there's no promises here. Like I mentioned earlier, my overall thoughts for the game are, yes, it can be the FIFA killer in a sense, more so just kill FIFA Ultimate Team because that's the main issue that everybody has. A lot of it is pay to win and a lot of people just want to make their own squads and use their own players. You can do that in this game for free. You just literally have to grind it in order to get those players, which everybody especially me i think is a better option than throwing some money right based off of this beta i think it does need some work you know just get a little bit more of like the connection with the passes going and just holding the ball it, everything just feels way 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 too slippery than it should be and um fix the crosses the high passes like it just doesn't go through um like i said i don't know it could just be me could be a skill issue but I'm curious to hear what your experience has been so far. If you guys have played this game, let me know down in the comments as well what you guys think of it overall. But yeah, I think it's time for me to wrap it up. I can confidently say that this has been a yap session. If you guys made it to the end, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Hit that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. Will UFL be one of the top three along with 2K and EA? We'll have to wait and see. But take it easy and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.